Like all the videos on Psych and Catch channel are made possible by fans like you. Is it the wrong sign? Okay. Damn. This is Mr. Golding's mansion. I'm afraid Mr. Golding isn't seeing visitors at the moment. Please come again some other time. Golding, the owner of the casino, has two kids. A son named Cash and a younger daughter named Carrie. Ever since the casino was shut down, they've locked themselves in the mansion along with their father. The strange jester showed up the night before the casino got shut down. He was walking around muttering, What a pity. What a pity. Really, he gave me a case of the willies. Is it the wrong sign? It's this one? Eh. I need I know I need to uh, go outside and get a picture of the town. No, no, apparently even setting foot on the stairs pulls you into town. Golly, what do you want, game? Do I need to go up this hill over here? I might need to go up this hill over here to get a good picture. Probably not able. Oh, I can. Damn! What do you want? Tell me what you want. What you really, really want. Was that not right? That's not right. I love how many people in chat right now are have started singing Spice Girls. <laughs> I'm so happy that I started that. <laughs> Best part of my day. <laughs> Just now. <laughs> Alright, let's go down into the pub, get a picture of the uh, bunny girls. We're still missing a slime, a golden slime. Was there one in the bank that I didn't see? Didn't know if there might be one on top of, like, the vaults. Okay, let's rest until evening. Still looking for another golden slime. I spent all the money I put aside for the casino here in the pub instead. You may have a problem. <laughs> Golding always used to say to us after he'd had a few, So long as I'm alive, I promise the world will stay at peace. 
Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing as hard as I can. All right, we need to go back to uh, Princess Minnie also. Got so many things to do. The bartender? Don't even mention him to me. He just up and leaves me here to do all the work myself. The bartender said he had to talk to his friend who works in the hotel about something, but he still hasn't come back. Grrr. Come on up there, there's plenty for everyone. Just look at the size of them. I want to dive in and swim. <laughs> rated E for everyone. <laughs> or actually, is it T now? It might be rated T. <laughs> Let's check. I'm curious. We're going to take a, a short break to check the rating. Oh no, it is teen. Fantasy violence, mild blood, mild language, simulated gambling, suggestive themes, and use of alcohol. <laughs> it sounds a lot worse than Dragon Quest actually is. Uh. <laughs> The young ladies really jiggle all over when they start to dance. It's, uh, it's fascinating. Oh, those luscious young thighs. Goddess, help me. My life is passing before my eyes. Excuse me, but do you know when the ladies will be taking it all off? Wrong kind of show. <laughs> what do you mean this isn't that kind of place? Golding used to come and watch Bunny Girl shows all the time, but he hasn't shown up in a while. I wonder if the rumors about him getting hurt in the robbery are true. Someone tell that moron to get down in front. I can't see the stage! Oh, merciful goddess. Pardon my sin. I was so entranced by these lovely ladies that I forgot to offer my daily prayer. How long have you been here? I really want to get even closer to the stage, but I've got a reputation to uphold. I always come here to unwind after a hard day's work. Come on, Xanth, shake that thing. Missing the stairs. And I fell off. Sir, please return to your seat. You're blocking the other customer's view. No, I'm not. I'm behind them. Behind you them. Do, 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 do. What do you think? I live for the chance to see Xanth, Xenia, and Zilia together. Just the sight of them warms my old bones. Aha! Ha 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 ha! I see you. I see you down there. Clever little bastard. But I got him. Oh, when will I get my big break? I tried out to be Simpleton's first ever bunny girl, but I couldn't time the kicks right and kept falling off the stage. Another garter. We had Angelo on bows, that would be useful. Of course we already have one that we're not using, so now we just have two that we're not using. I'm sure we'll still wind up using them. I haven't had to sell anything yet. Oh my god, it's such a large inn. Slash casino. Can Red use bows? I don't think so. I think Red is... Fans. Daggers. What's her third one? Maybe it is bows. I'm not sure. Okay, so tell me what happened the other day. The suspense is killing me! Alright, alright already. 
But you've got to keep this under your hat, okay? This is between you and me. Hmm. I swear I won't say a word. We barmen know when to keep our mouths shut. By the goddess, lower your voice. I assume you've heard about Mr. Golding's house being burgled. Well, the fact is, Mr. Golding was murdered during the robbery. Murdered? Oh, you mean Mr. Golding is dead? I told you to keep it down. That's why nobody's seen hide in the hair of him recently. He isn't among the living anymore. But Mr. Golding was such a big man. You're trying to tell me he was killed by a random burglar? Well, the really weird thing about it was that the burglar was apparently dressed as a jester. I didn't see him myself, mind you, but that's what they say. A jester, huh? A strange one, this burglar. Seems he broke in, killed Mr. Golding, and left. He didn't take anything valuable. Yeah, that's that's called a murder, guys. That's a murder. <laughs> From the looks of it, he was after Mr. Golding's life, not his gold. I also heard that Cash and Carrie have ordered some men to find the jester and avenge their father's death. By the goddess, this is big. Oh, I won't tell a soul. You can count on me. I'd better get back to my customers. See you later. Gah! <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I did not see you standing there. <gasps> did you... Did you hear what we were talking about? Oh, forgive me for the strange question. A slip of the tongue. <laughs> I'd better get back to work. I'm sorry, but I can't let you through. This door connects to the casino, and what? You heard everything the bartender and I were saying before? I don't know what you're talking about. And he'll tell you the same thing. Free dancer's costume. I'm pretty sure that can be alchemized into something. Welcome back, Manuborg. What weapons am I using? I am using a boomerang on the hero, fisticuffs on Yangus, uh, swords on Jess, and Angelo is using staves. Mori's going to be using claws. Red is going to be using daggers. There's been a lot of back and forth on whether or not Red is going to be using daggers or fans. But I'm, I'm still leaning towards daggers. Kaniki, it's good to see you too. See, the fans, the bonus there is that fans haven't been in this game before. Daggers have. But daggers seem more fitting to Red's personality. So, I'm, I'm having some trouble picking. Can we get into Golding's Mansion now? I'm pretty sure we still haven't gotten the flag that we need. Anything in cons consult? You know, I wonder what Dual Magus is like. I mean, I know he's a bad guy, but what's he like? Yeah, it'd be a bit of a turn for... Bleh, it'd be a bit of a turn up for the books if he was actually a bloomin' good bloke, eh? Ha! Huh, laughing killer revealed to be good bloke, very likely. <laughs> when not busy murdering, Dual Magus spends his time working for charity. He also regularly donates his ill-gotten gains to a number of worthy causes. Don't be ridiculous, he's a cold-blooded killer. Let, let them have their fun, Jess. I really don't get this. What would Duel Magus want to kill the owner of the casino for? 
So it looks like a posse was sent out to pursue Duel Magus. I have to say, I'm more worried about their safety than his. We don't want any more victims in this bloody mess. Is that it? Do we need to research the posse? Anybody come by? This strange jester showed up the night before. Blah, 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 Up. No, still no. God dang it. Where do I get the plot point? Is it the guy near the front of town? Is he gonna be like, hey, I saw some guys who were leaving town. I don't think I've been in this house yet. I have not. I saw some of Golding's men head out of town in full battle gear a while ago. They left in the dead of night. It looked like they were out for blood. Ah, oh, that's almost what we need. Did you see anything? Nope. Did you see anything? <laughs> Leaving for some place called the Dark Ruins, no matter how hard I pressed, he wouldn't tell me why. Where are the Dark Ruins? I don't have a clue. Maybe you should ask around in the pub in the hotel basement. Direction! We've been given direction! My detective skills have paid off. Whew, the bartender's finally back. I thought he'd be talking to that friend of his at the hotel forever. Like ten people were looking for him while he was gone, because he's the person you talk to if you need to know something. Hint, hint, wink, hint. Hmm? You heard everything we were talking about upstairs? What? Look, cut me some slack and don't tell anyone else, okay? If word gets around, I'll be in deep. Ahem, let me propose a deal. You keep your mouth shut and I promise to tell you what I know. What do you say? I knew I could count on you. Let me fill you in on what I know. Cash and Carrie sent a posse after the man who killed their father. They want revenge. And I hear they headed straight for some island north of Baccarat. Word is, there's some ruins on the island. It would make a perfect hideout. Hmm. We can't be absolutely sure it was Jomegos who killed Golding. But I'm quite sure we can be sure enough to be sure. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we go and have a look at those ruins on the island to the north? Maybe we'll be able to find some kind of clue. Hey, Dragonus Blue Spitfire, how are you doing today? All right, there we got we got what we needed. <laughs> I knew where the ruins were. I just didn't know, you know, what what we're allowed to do and what we aren't allowed to do. Uh, Buckingham in Dragon Quest VII really, uh, really beat it into me that I need to follow the, the story hooks in the right order. All right, let's zoom over to Port Prospect and get some of these camera quests turned in. I haven't been around for like two weeks, anyways, Blue, so you haven't really missed too much. And Tales of Berseria, I haven't heard people talk about the Tales series this much since, like, Symphonia came out. Is Berseria really that good? Eight new challenges completed. 
Ten stamps. Ah. Ah. We are one short. We are one short. <laughs> you managed to take a photograph of the subject of any quests in my challenge codex. I'll give you a little reward, you know. A photograph can capture a person's true nature sometimes. That's the real pleasure of the hobby, though. Actually, just be careful not to take it too far. Be sure to check my challenge codex occasionally, won't you? It's in the miscellaneous menu. Figured I was distracted by Fire Emblem Heroes. I have been playing Fire Emblem Heroes. I'm, I'm at the very end of Chapter 9, and suddenly the difficulty has just, like... It, it arrived out of nowhere and was like, hey, what's up? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna punch you in the face repeatedly. <laughs> it was such an easy game until the last chapter. Um, and Princess Minnie's Castle. 